man, I got so much thesis work to do, but it is just way too nice outside today to be stuck in an office. I mean, it's May 1st, 22 degrees out. I can see some suckers down there, hoping there's gonna be some carp. Let's get on to some bottom feeders. First, we gotta give them some of the good stuff. Some of that good old cream corn. I'm gonna give you a quick little hair rig carp tip here. Take a straightened out jig head. Tie up a hair rig knot, you can YouTube that or I can do another video on that later. Got a few pieces on right there. Use that barb to hook on. And they should just slide right off. Might lose a few. I find it's best just to not overdo it. Give them a few, something to focus on. And to close that off, you really just want to put a thick piece of monofilament or even a little piece of a stick. It's organic, they like that. Cinch it down onto that line. That corn ain't going nowhere. Cast it out and wait. As easy as that. There's about. Four carp down there feeding pretty heavy right now. I think I'm gonna hook up pretty quick. There we go. Took long enough to trick one. I'm surprised these guys were so spooky because normally this time of year, pre spawn, they don't care. They're just putting on the feed bag, but. There we go. Oh man. That is. Yeah, a nice carp. There we go. First carp of 2018. Not long by any means, but just an absolute pig. That one is pregnant. Probably goes 16, 18 pounds. Because it's my first one of the year. Can't really complain, gonna give her a kiss. Oh, nice and slack. Get him back in. Nice splash away. Oh God. Oh, that guy gave me a shower. Almost forgot how slimy they were. And that didn't take long, only about 20, 30 minutes. Let's see if we can get another one. Just released that one and I can already see another one coming through here. Clearly that didn't spook the whole school of them. Oh, he's right on track for my corn. He's gonna munch it in three, two. Got him. Oh, nothing beats sight fishing these guys. Number two, baby, that was back to back within five minutes. Got him fired up now. This one's bigger too. Oh yeah. People really don't give carp enough credit because I mean, they are smart. Like they are just very aware. And I mean, if you like a hard fighting fish, carp's your fish. I mean, they will fight just as hard, if not harder than any other fish pound for pound. right in the net. Oh, that was just inhaled. Just another absolute fatty. He's so slimy, I can't even hold him. 
could go 18, 20 on this one. I gotta get him back. There he goes. Well, now that the bite's on, I'm gonna explain to you quickly why the hair rig is so good and I won't look like an idiot. So the hair rig, the corn just sits off the end of the hook as opposed to putting your corn directly on the hook. That way, all when the corn first suck up is that, or when the carp first suck up, the corn, all they feel is the corn, they don't feel the hook. And then by the time they give that last swallow, the, cor the corn's already in their mouth. And the way you tie the knot, it really, it's like a snell, just reversed, and then it just kicks that up and they almost set themselves every time. But just a little tip for you guys, why I like to take that extra few seconds just to tie the hair rig. Let's see if we can get a few more before the night's over. Well, it's funny, as soon as those clouds rolled in, those carp rolled right out. But I mean, for about an hour's fishing, first time out this year, landed two of them. One of them wasn't too bad, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to do a hair rig video in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these carp videos, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.